Hi YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel Code Master Lab. In this video, we are going to see step by step guide of Code Igniter migration from CI3 to CI4. For this, let us on the Apache and then we will go to the both the folders. First, let us go with the CI4 folder which you can able to see. In our previous video, we have configured it, installed it. Now, this is your uh, Satya is the CI3. You can check the folder structure. It is a little bit different than the CI4. Now, here what we need to do is we just need to copy our assets file. Okay, we just need to copy our assets file you can, from your CI3 to CI4. Just I'm looking out all the folders, anything else needed or not. So, I have checked everything is set. So, just copy the assets file folder from the CI3 and just paste it out over CI4 okay so this is your first step which you need to do it out once it is done you need to copy your controller for files as well next will be your controller files just to go to your CI3 project keep your CI3 project and CI4 projects folders side by side go to your controllers there is only one controller here in CI4 you have a controller in my previous video I have shown it so just copy the controller over there next will be your views folder in your CI3 just check for views it will be okay models I don't have any models over here so I have just ignored it and just copy all your views file folders whatever you have there from there to the views folder of CI4 that's it nothing more needed that's the only part which is needed now let's open the ci4 project in our code editor visual studio code i use so that's all as as of now now the first step which we are going to do is copying all the assets and controller files we have already done and with constant folder also we need to copy why need to why we need to see the constant folder we'll get to know in two minutes now this is your what we call your controller so since you don't have the controller the previous version you need to use namespace right now and your extends with the base controller it was ci controller previously you now it's base controller so you can able to see few constant files over here so what we'll do we'll just open our code igniter 3 we'll go to the folder of config there you'll find constant file we'll open it using notepad plus plus then we will copy all the constants whatever we have defined there and just will paste in the constants file of the code igniter 4 so you'll be finding over app okay inside the app we will be having that just if you once you paste it constant files you can able to see all the errors gone now what is you can able to see is there is a show 404 error and there is one more thing called load page contents everywhere is you can see like load load page contents now what is this load load page contents let's go to that uh, function and let's check uh, what's there inside the load page contents so when you go uh, when i when you go inside it you can able to see there is a 404 error uh, is also getting an error message with a red line since I'm using PHP intelligence code igniter code intelligence I'm getting these warnings and all so if you are using that then it will be helpful for you now what we'll do basically what we have done is we have a file of JSON we are just executing from the JSON file and we are just displaying that contents okay fine now let's first work on show 404 error okay before seeing all the errors like how uh, you have this load error as well you are getting load error many in many functions you have this first let us see this load error first okay since it has many so many places so let's just replace this load with echo that's it simply just echo it and boom the errors will be gone so first step where what we are going to do we are just removing this uh, load okay 
since there are many error there were many error so i have first i have changed that to echo so it's gone now the errors are very less very few very few okay so the next error which we are going to see is show puro poor error so on for this we need we will be working on it okay we will update this show 404 error we need to use this show 404 error so what i'll do i'll go to const a common file there is a common.php file inside the app there i will give you a code this code will be um, i'll be giving it to you in this description use this uh use this code in this common or php and then boom you can able to see there is only small error where you need to give a text okay so it requires a text so what kind of error it is why you are getting it so you can mention it out so that you can understand it clearly so i just give the text small text and that's it so it is uh, most probably all the things are gone now again able to see the output set headers and all you have okay so output set headers you have now we will just will not concentrate on that we will see uh, update the default controller and config uh, configuration of routes basically so default controller will be your study so we we'll update it at that and next will be your uh, what we call routes so we will also update the routes file so routes file and default controller we just update already we have set the auto route to true so all the methods can be accessible next step will be you are removing all the set headers so that we can streamline the code okay so we will just comment all the set headers once it is done that's it you have successfully migrated your website from ci3 to ci4 this is how simply you can migrate any ci4 website which is non-database if you want database please comment below i'll make a video of that as well so simple and sweet you can use this code for in this changing your ci3 website to ci4 migration thank you for watching this video if you like this please hit a like share and subscribe my channel thank you